Okay, this is kind of a redo. Well, it is a redo of the first video I posted, which I messed up totally with this camera on. New camera. I didn't have it figured out quite right. But anyway, this is the Chuckmates Quick Connect adapter that I bought for my Maddox air compressor. Zoom that out here. That's the box for this Maddox air compressor. Okay, I'm going to totally deflate a tire, and I'm going to partially deflate it first, and then totally deflate it to show you the time. But the beauty of this Chuck's Mates is if you look at this, it's got the screw-on end. This is what goes on the air hose for the uh, Maddox air compressor. And that thing, if you read your directions on a uh, air compressor, you're supposed to have the air compressor running before you hook it up to the tire so that you don't get that hard surge, which will either blow fuses or put too much load on the compressor. So with the Chuck Mates here, what it does is the small end here. That is the same thing as the Schrader valve on your tire. So you thread that on here like that, and you only don't need to go finger tight. That's all it needs. And this valve is a blow-through, which means that when you turn the compressor on, you've got air coming out of this thing. It's not a leak. It's just air coming out. That way you can just plug it in, lock it, Unplug it, pull it off. Boom, boom. All right, I'm going to show you the Maddox, and then I'm going to do the setup. Thank you. Okay. Maddox air compressor. Setup, I've already got it hooked up to the battery. And you can see the yellow hose here. And... this quick connect okay and this is a u unique it quick connect that's why I went with this set up for the Schrader valve that way I don't have to cut hoses or anything else cut lines okay Go over here Zoom in on the tire here a little bit. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Okay. Right now that tire is sitting at 35 psi. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fully air it down. Got my little valve stem tool here, that'll just make things a lot easier. Okay, that's way past where you want to be on it. So. Okay, do you see that? 10 PSI. So we'll see how long it takes it to inflate to 35. Step number one, start the engine so I'm not drawing too much off the battery. Okay, ignition on, engine running. Now this is where you do it. Go ahead and turn it on first. You want that running, you want it on.
you can see that. Let the time go now. I've already been gone probably 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a minute and a half on this thing and see where we're at. Look at that tire already, it's already. Quite a bit fuller than it was. So it had 30 seconds to that time, so I'm probably coming up on about a minute and a half right now. And that was from 10 PSI. So, you know what, last time I did this, I had that fully inflated by uh, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. Because we're at a minute and 20 right now. Little point to make on this thing too. You don't use that as a pressure gauge real things running. It's always inaccurate. But what I'm going to do here Let's see how accurate we are against each other. Okay. This one's hard to read. But That should, it's reading pretty close to 35 on that. Let's see what this is reading. Okay, I need to add just a little more. But I'm already up to 33 PSI. And that was in a little less than two minutes. Truckmates adapter makes life so much easier taking it on and off. That should put me over now, so we'll see. But boom. Easy. Okay, I'm reading 36 PSI. I want to take it down one. Thirty-five PSI. So that's how well. The Menex air compressor works for inflating tires, especially with that quick connect check. So, too much stuff in this right pocket. I'm trying to find the cap for the freighter valve. There it is. Strongly recommend the Maddox air compressor from Harbor Freight. Just go on to Amazon, get the uh, SKOG, I believe the spelling, Chuck Mates. Quick Connect. As I said, that threads right onto the end of this. Makes life very easy. Thank you for your time.